Another rocket lifted off earlier today from the NASA Wallops Flight Facility. Our meteorologist Jeff Edmondson was there to check it out. He joins us now showing us what was on board and how we might be seeing more and more launches in the future. The International Space Station is going to be decommissioned in the next 10 years, but that doesn't mean the end of rocket launches here at Wallops Island. It's the beginning of something new. This rocket going to the ISS will resupply the orbiting lab with experiments to study cancer cells, managing oxygen levels, and studying plant growth and microgravity. This next launch later this year will start to open the door for more private enterprises. That's where the former director of NASA Langley, Dr. David Bowles, comes in. We've got two payloads on it, uh, one a combination of ODU and the United States Coast Guard Academy and one from Virginia Tech. We're hopefully going to launch in August, I think it is, of 2022. On that mission, they are going to launch CubeSats, or small satellites that you can hold in your hand. Dr. David Bowles was at Langley for 39 years, the director of the facility for five, and is now the executive director of Virginia Spaceflight and Autonomy. And he sees big things for the Commonwealth's future. Once you have the launch pad, and then you have a couple different companies actually doing launches, then the people, the companies that are um, developing satellites, they want to be, well, hey, if they're launching from there, let's, let's locate the satellite development there. On the eastern shore at NASA Wallace Flight Facility, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson. 10 on your side.